to do this, uh, uh, send out God's word to our people, uh, to some maybe that's not able to go to church, uh, some that's sick, whatever it might be, whatever your circumstance is, we hope that this word finds you. Uh, the Bible said if the gospel be hid, it is hid from the lost, and it's a crucial thing that we share God's word. Uh, we may not normally do what we have been doing the last couple of times. We've been reading about two chapters for you. Uh, but this time, we may preach a little bit. And I want to go to the eighth chapter of the book of Matthew and read to you uh, just some verses. So if you have your Bibles, I'll recommend to you if you're uh, where you can. Um, I'd like for you to go get your Bible and turn. Uh, to the 8th chapter of the book of Matthew. Uh, we'll probably start around the 23rd verse. 8th chapter of the book of Matthew and starting at the 23rd verse. Uh, we'd like to send this out to uh, all them that are sick. We'd like for folks to surely be praying for Brother Alan Nisher's uh, little girl. Uh, real sick, that baby is. So please pray for him. Uh, just it's really needing the Lord and uh, to touch it. And we know there's nothing too hard for God. The Bible said that it's impossible with man is uh, possible with God. And we appreciate him for his mighty acts and his infallible proofs that he has shown us that he is a bishop of our souls and that we can put our trust in him. In the eighth chapter of the book of Matthew, we'd like to share a situation here that they went through with Jesus, his disciples, and it caused them to have faith in their hearts. They know they could trust him. Uh, they seen uh, of what authority that this man was sent from to do the works of his father. Now listen what it said in the 8th chapter again, of the book of Matthew starting at the 23rd verse. Listen what he said. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him, and behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, so insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Listen to that now, folks. Even the winds and the sea obey him. Praise God. I thought how that they got, they got on the ship, the Lord did, and his disciples began to follow him. Praise the Lord. And while they followed him and they was on uh, that great sea, uh, there was a, tempi a tempest came, a storm came, and oh, it was a great one, and the winds began to blow, and the waves of the sea began to toss, but during this time, the Bible said Jesus was asleep, amen, and he was asleep, and thank God, finally, when they got fear in their hearts so great, uh, they awoke him, and they said, Master, uh, we perish, amen. And he called him, he said, Oh, ye of little faith. And he arose, amen. And he rebuked the wind. And the Bible said, There was a great calm. And they questioned within themselves and said, What manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Ain't you glad tonight? that he is the master of the wind. Amen. And thank God I thought they're giving uh, maybe some bad storms coming around London and some of the surrounding counties tomorrow. And they've already called off school. And yeah, man, it must be pretty bad because I've never known them to call off school for uh, maybe a storm, thank God, like that. But I begin to think, how the storms come. And thank God a while ago I went outside and I began to get some things kind of down, put them away for when the wind blows and got the garbage can and placed it in case the wind blows and want everything to be in place and not get out of order. 
But I'm going to tell you, friend, there's coming a storm. I thank God to folks' his soul. Amen. And when that storm comes for your soul, if you ain't anchored in Jesus and got everything tied down, uh, when the storm comes, thank God you'll be uprooted and you'll be drawn away uh, with the things of this world. Thank God and it'll blow you and it'll toss you. But thank God there is a way tonight that you can be anchored in Jesus. Praise the Lord. He is the master. He is the calm of the storm. He's the master of the wind. He's the eye of the storm. He's the peace uh, through the storm, the wind, the rain. All the things that come to pass and come out in your way. He is that calm. And if we're not anchored in the Lord then now we'll drift away. Amen. I thought about hell. Thank God if we don't have our hearts and our minds uh, uh, set on Jesus. And thank God have our heart. The Bible said love the Lord. Oh my God with all thy heart. With all thy strength. With all thy soul. And with all thy mind. If we got our hearts, our soul, our minds and our strength anchored in Jesus. I thank God when the storm comes. And thank God the winds of this world begin to blow. I thank God he'll keep his hedge about his children. And he'll protect us. I thank God but if we ain't got him. And if we're not hid in Christ and have our souls anchored in him tonight. And when the storm comes, I will drift away. A friend, I'm telling you, when storms come, I thank God he'll leave, he'll leave some bad results. At least some bad aftermath. I thank God I've seen places that has been torn down by storms. I've seen buildings to a knocked down by storms. And you can see people try to build back with all the rubble and try to clean up after that. But thank God there has been people that has lost their lives through storms. Sometimes storms come in the middle of the night. Sometimes they'll come in broad daylight. But I'm telling you when your storm finds you are you anchored in Jesus? Amen. I thought about not long ago somebody told me about when the tornadoes hit along back or wherever it was. And I said one woman had a child in her hand and he just sucked it right out of her hand. And one man opened the door to see if the storm was over and he just sucked him out. I thank God sin it'll suck you out. I thank God old brother Keith McLean. He used to stand back on that one foot and take that handkerchief and roll it around and he'd say sin is like a whirlpool and it is when you get caught up in the whirlpool and the storms of this town as Brother Austin would say you get caught in the shuffle and when your storm comes and you're not anchored in God and you're not anchored in his spirit and you're not anchored in his son I thank God today thank God there could be destruction to me and you the Bible said he that heareth these sins Sayings a man and doeth him not is like a man that built his house upon the sand. And when the storms come, it so great was his fall. But he that heareth these words a man and doeth him is the same as like unto a man that built his house upon a rock. And when the rain fell, and when the winds blow, and when the storms come, that house still stood. Thank God if you want to stand to the storm, you better make sure. At your head and anchored in Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God we need to make sure that we're anchored in this man. Thank God folks have lost their life. Thank God the storm has come and has hit them unaware. And the Bible said, take heed, lest you be overcharged, overcharged with the surfiting and the drunkenness and the cares of this life, lest that day come upon you unaware when you're overcharged and you're distracted with the things of this world, with the surfiting and the drunkenness and just, just the cares of life. When you get caught up in the cares of life, thank God them storms will sneak up on you. Amen, they'll sneak up on you. It'll happen in a moment of time. Where are you going to run to for shelter? If you've turned your head, if you've turned your man, if you've turned your heart from Christ, and that storm comes, thank God you'll not find that shelter. But I heard him say he is my refuge. I thank God my time, my help, and the time 
ever need. I thought what David said. He said, I look to the right hand and no man cared for my soul. He said, refuge found me. But finally he acknowledged Christ and he said, thou art my refuge. I thank God our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If you want to be found in, I thank God when a storm comes, when that enemy comes against your soul and he howls like a wind, thank God the Bible said when the enemy comes in like a flood, I'll raise up a standard against him. Thank God today, children, there's nothing like having your life hid and anchored in Jesus. Praise God. I read in the, in the Word of God where he told his disciples again. He said, go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. Thank God. They got in that boat and they was on that water. Oh, the storms come upon them again and fear fell upon them. Jesus was not with them in that boat. Thank God, but why fear fell upon them. They looked, and the Bible said he would have passed them by. He would have passed them by. But they looked at him, and they said, Oh, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. He said, Be of good cheer. And his eye, and his eye, praise the Lord. Peter said, Lord, if, it be, if it's you, bid me to come unto you, unto the water. Praise the Lord. He said, come. When Peter was stepped out of that boat, he began to walk on that water. He was walking toward Jesus. And he walked right, right, right toward Jesus in the midst of the storm and on that troubled sea. But oh, when he looked around, just like I was quoted a while ago, the cares of this life and the drunkenness and the cares of this life, it will cause you to look around. And I'll be on it all the time. Our people look around too much. They get distracted from the things of this life. And it will cause you to get your eyes off the Lord and too much on the world. But the Bible said he that loveth the world the love of the Father is not in him. Glory to God. This world will creep you in. It will suck you in. And it will pull you away from Christ. And when Peter began to look around at the sea and how great the storm was, I thank God he began to sink. Amen. But when he began to sink, oh Peter had enough wisdom that he cried out on Jesus. And he said, Lord, save me. And immediately he reached down and picked him up and carried him back to the ship. You're going to need somebody, friend, when you're sinking. You're going to need somebody to pick you up. You're going to need somebody when you cry out to him. You're going to need somebody immediately. The things of this life, it won't get to you. Your money can't help you. Your friends can't help you. But there'll come a time when you're sinking. If you call on this man, he'll reach out his hand to you and not let you drown tonight. Praise the Lord. Are you anchored in Jesus? Are you anchored in him? What manner of man is this that the winds and the sea obey him? It's not his will that any should perish. You may just say tonight, preacher, I hear you, but I can't touch that man that you're talking about. I can't seem to get him to hear me. How hard are you trying? How hard are you trying? The Bible said this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his trouble. That don't, you're not exempt from that. You're not exempt from that. The storm may be great. It may be dark. You may not be able to see the light out in front of you. But I'm telling you tonight, there's hope in Christ. Whatever predicament you're in, whatever situation you're in, he's not, he's not a God of circumstance. He's a God of all gods. He's a God of all gods. There's one faith, one baptism, one God, one over all, in you all, and above you all. Amen. He wants us tonight. 
One Lord, thank God. He just one Lord, thank God, the King of Kings. Thank God, God sent down His Son. That me and you could talk to Him in the midst of the storm. I'm not serving a man that I can't, can't hear me. I need somebody when I'm in trouble. I need somebody when grief has stricken my heart. When I'm wounded, when I'm discouraged. I need somebody in the midst of the storm to come to me. You may call your family and say, oh, there's a storm coming. I need you to get over here. They may say, I can't get to you. We don't want to get out. But this man, he's willing to come. He's willing to come to you. He's willing to hold your hand in the midst of the storm. He's willing to try to knock at your heart if you'll just let him in. But when help comes and you feel him amending your heart to let you in, to let him in, thank God you need to open the doors of your heart and say, Lord, I can't make it through this storm alone. I'm about to drown. I'm a saint. I've fallen. I'm, I'm at your mercy. But will you hold me? Will you reach for me? Will you pick me up? Hey, man, you know what that man will do? He'll reach for an extended arm for you. And he'll hold you. He'll secure you. Thank God it may not look like he is at times. But the Bible says, what well, about faith and not by side? It's the things that we can't see, thank God, that God does. And we need to give him the praise for it. If it weren't for his mercy, where would you be already? Thank God this man will anchor you. Praise God. Somebody said, well, I need a big anchor. All you need is Jesus. All you need is Jesus. I'd like to recommend him to you. I'd like to recommend him to you. I would. I'd like to recommend this man called Jesus to you and tell you that he's willing to be your anchor. He's willing to secure you, friend, in the time of storm. He's willing to hold you, hold you down when the winds of life is raging and you feel like you're about to go under. That man is willing to put up a hedge about you, over top you, underneath you, beside you, and overshadow you with his love, his mercy, his grace, and his peace in the midst of the storm. He can give you peace. We appreciate you. We want to pray. We want to pray and want to dedicate this little broadcast here that we've done here. A word for you. I want to ded dedicate that to Blake Turner's little boys. And we appreciate them and love them. We love you all so much. We want to pray. As we close, good heavenly maestro, we come before you. We're at your mercy, Lord. We need you. Every morning that we wake up, Lord, every night when we lay down, we need you. We need your strength. We need your mercy. We need your grace. Lord, I ask, Lord, that when the storms come against our souls, when it pours in like a flood, Lord, fast, unexpected, and we've not got time to anchor like we need. We ask, Lord, that you have mercy on us, that we could get tied down in you, Lord, in your word, in your holy ways, line on line and precept on precept. Help us, Lord, to hold to your hand. We know, Lord, you'll guide us through the storm if we'll be willing, Lord, to let you lead us.